Hello everyone, today is December the 19th, 2015. This is an article that I just got emailed to me and I thought I would share it with you. The title of the article is From the Valley of the Seven Confessions of a Former Swiss Banker by Joe Gaudet. Former Swiss banker Francois Sibenthal discusses his experiences at the highest levels of international banking while attending an annual conference with the Pilgrims of St. Michael in Roguemont, Quebec, Canada. Eucharist Shine Films was on hand to document the proceedings and classroom sessions. While there, we were introduced to former Swiss banker Francois de Siebenthal, an advocate for the concept of worldwide monetary reforms known as social credit, agreed to an in-depth interview. What could go wrong? And this is just a, a breakdown of six of the top banks. J.P. Morgan Chase, Citibank, Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, Morgan Stanley, and Wells Fargo. And if you look at <clears throat> total assets, J.P. Morgan... 2.6 trillion dollars total exposure to derivatives more than 63 trillion dollars Citibank total assets more than 1.8 trillion dollars total exposure to derivatives more than 59 trillion dollars Goldman Sachs total assets less than a trillion dollars exposure to derivatives more than 57 trillion dollars Bank of America Total assets, a little bit more than $2.1 trillion. Total exposure to derivatives, more than $54 trillion. Morgan Stanley, less than a trillion dollars in total assets. Total exposure to derivatives, more than $38 trillion. Wells Fargo, total assets, about $1.7 trillion. Total exposure to derivatives, more than $5 trillion. Fed increase the interest rates will bankrupt the banking system along with the US dollar itself. Currencies would then go to asset backed currencies instead of the fiat system now. And the GCR stands for the global currency reset currently going on in the world. For the full year, trading revenue for insured US commercial banks and savings associations totaled $22.7 billion, $0.6 billion higher than in 2013, led by a $0.3 billion increase in commodity and other revenue. The point that I'm trying to make here is that this total exposure to derivatives is much, much higher than what any of these banks' total assets are worth. And I don't know a lot about banking, but the definition of a derivative is a security with a price that is dependent upon or derived from one or more underlying assets. The derivative itself is a contract between two or more parties based upon the assets or asset. Its value is determined by fluctuations in the underlying asset. So looking at these top six banks, what they have out there in derivatives is way more than what they have in assets and what they're exposed to. So if you have your money in any of these banks, J.P. Morgan Chase, Citibank, Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, Morgan Stanley, or Wells Fargo, I highly suggest you get it into a smaller bank, um, a mom pa corner local bank to protect your assets or your money, especially if you have direct deposit because they can just take your money at any time. Have a great day, everyone. Be safe out there.